What's up guys? In today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to do something very cool which is creating like high lines and low lines in MQL5. So how do we do this? First things first, we don't have to import any library and we just need to use two functions which are on init and on tick. First of all I want to tell you that all the things that I know from MQL5 are thanks to this guy and I want to give him credit because he truly helped me learning things. So I recommend you going and checking out his channel because yeah, it's amazing. So how do we create this? Uh, first of all, what we have to do is to create a arrays in which we are going to store data and which data do we need? So. Since we are going to take the highs and the lows of uh, closes, we have to create an array and I called it closes. And this array is going to contain that, all the closes from the market. Then we also need an array to store the candles because in the candles, in this array, we are going to store the values of the prices. So first thing first, we call the onInit method, which is the one called just once when the bot gets open. So if you open the bot in a chart, then this function will be called once just at the beginning and we will do this. So here we are creating the candles and the closes and we are setting them as series. And yeah, that's very useful. But now we want that on each tick, we want to change the, the lines if, for example, the low or the high changed. Also, I want to tell you that we have here this variable called max candles in which we take we put here how many candles do we take into account to create uh, those lines. Once you have that, first of all, we have to load the candles on each tick. We are going to load the candles. So here we put the symbol, the period, and then we put here from which candle do we want to start. So if we put the zero, it means that we are going to start from the last one and this one is the one which is moving. So we are going to also take into account that one. And also here we put the amount of candles that we want to take into account. And finally here we put the variable in which we want to store those candles. So oh, another thing that you have to do is that you have to copy the closes. Well, here as we are going to use the closes, you have to copy those closes to the array here that we created. How do you copy the closes? So you use the function copy close, you put here the symbol, and this refers to the current symbol of the chart. So for example, if you are in the Euro USD, you just put here this symbol and it will automatically take the Euro USD. If you are in the GBP USD, it will take that. The same happens with the period. This will take automatically the period in which you are. So again, we are putting here the uh, candle in which we want to take prices from and we want to take to take prices from the first one. And yeah, we want to take the max candle, which are 100 and we want to store that in the closes. Imagine that you don't want the closes, that you want the high. So for example, if you put here copy high, you copy the high. If you put here copy low, you copy the low. And if you put here copy open, you copy the open. But since we want the copy close, we put here the copy close. Well, since we want the close, we put here the copy close. Then we need to know where are the hikes and where are the lows. From that, since we have this array and we just want the maximum value, here, if you call this function, it will give you the maximum value. Here, this should be max candles. And yeah, let me change this fast. And this is just basically a for loop which looks for all the values and checks which is the lowest and the highest. That's it. So this gives you the index in which that low is. And since we are taking the same amount of values here in the candles and the closes, we can then use this index to access the candle that has that high or that low. So for example, here, imagine that the high is in the candle 15. This function is giving us that high in the candle 15. And now we are saying that we are going to create that and taking, we are going to create a line taking the, that price. How do, create, how do we create a line? So we have to call the function object create. And what is the first method? First of all, if you don't know what is something, 
you press F1, you select this and you press F1. Okay, it worked. <laughs> and here you have all the information. So as you can see here, uh, the first argument is the chart. If you put a zero, it means that you are going to take the current chart. And this is all explained here. For example, the next thing that you have to put is the name that you want to give to this object. So for example, here we are going to call this custom high. And we want to create this as a horizontal line. Then the next two arguments are first the time, like if you put it zero, you take the current time. And no, first the sub window and then the time. So those two, if you put it to zero, it will take the, the basic values. And then you have to take the, well, you have to put the price in which you want to put that line. And here, as we said before, we put the price in the index of the candle. So we take the candles, then we go to the index in which that candle is, and then we take the value close. So that's it. The same happens with the low. In, but instead of loading the, the high, we load the low. So once you've done that, it is just this basic thing, which is setting the colors. So for example, the high is going to be olive green and the uh, low is going to be color aqua. The arguments are very similar. So the first one is in which chart do you want to put this? Zero to the current chart. The name, you have to put the same name here as the one you put it before. Then the object prop color. So here you are saying that, hey, you want to change this. I want to change the property color. And we got, like if you put just CLR, yeah, CLR, you are going to have here all the colors. And yeah, this is very useful. So oh, 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 I forgot here, max candles. Oh my God, max candles. So yeah, now if you want to change the width, Remember, the only thing that you have to change in this object set integer function is the property that you want to change. So here, if you change that argument, that enumeration, that if I'm not wrong here, you have all the things that you can change. So for example, color, style, width, back, sorter, fill, hidden, and all those things. So if you want to change that, you can put here the value that you want. Finally, you have to move that line to the price in which you want that to be. So here, what you put is, uh, well, you access again to that price and basically you just put that. So now the only thing that you have to do is to compile. You compile and then what you have to do is to go to the strategy tester. And how do you open the strategy tester? You come here to see, to view, and then here you have the strategy tester. You just have to press Ctrl R. And then here, the thing that you have to set is that you want and to use the expert advisor that you created, which is the high lows. And finally, that uh, you want to, for example, use it in the your USD and you want to use it in the chart of one hour. Finally, to see what is happening, you have to click here because this is not clicked by default. So you check here and then you click start. So once you click start, as you are seeing right now, this is working as we expected. So this blue line is setting, well, it's displaying the low uh, value in the previous 100 candles. And this green line is displaying the value in the in the previous 100 candles. And remember that this refers to the close, not to the high high. So for example, let's come here. Well, let's go to the beginning here. As you can see, this is the highest close, but here you have the closest and here the high. So this refers to the closest. So if you continue executing, as you can see, this is working fine. Remember that you have this in my GitHub. So you come here to GitHub trading bot and then to MQL5 and it should be somewhere here, high lows. This one is. So you can take it and do whatever you want. And remember, the only thing that you have to do is to come to the editor, compile it, <laughs> and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.